Apparently it's something. A new type of game. It's gonna be a story. It's gonna be a good novel. It's gonna be a radio play. It's gonna be a game. Let's check it out. Clearly the intro is all James Bondy. Apparently this book was the inspiration for Ian Fleming to write 007 novels. Supposed to be 1917 or something like that. Could probably tell us. Uh oh. Drink. I'm Jack Cassidy. <laughs> I saw a hilarious Jack Cassidy movie this morning. The only reason that's funny is if you watch the Michael Mara show. Listen to the Michael Mara podcast, that is. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. Cool, cool. Is that the clock with lightning hit? Back to the future? No. Whoa. Okay. Player name. Well, I'm not an empty one, for sure. Who am I? That's clearly who I am. Alright, so apparently there's events, there's cards, there's awards, and there's playtime. Let's do it. Rotate your mouse clockwise to advance the text. Anti-clockwise makes you go back. Really? That seems kind of weird. Okay. Huh. Interesting. So if I turn it in a circle, I go back? No. How about forward? No. Hello? I'm rotating the hell out of my mouse. Rotate your mouse clockwise? Come on, man. Let's spin it in a circle. Okay. Maybe I'll use the touchpad. Okay. I'll use the touchpad again. Making a circular motion. Go! Um, and I'll turn it like this with two fingers. No. All right, I'll use the mouse. Come on, man. Okay, there we go. When you reach the end of a string of text, you'll see a diamond. Simply left click anywhere to advance the scene. Okay, geez Louise. Boom. Rotate the mouse? Does that mean like this or like this? Because I was doing both. Obviously, this isn't going to do shit, right? So you got to do this. 39 steps is largely pointer free experience, so I don't have to point. Okay, I have to rotate my mouse, because that's not going to work. They have the wrong type of mouse. Okay, but when you see one, that's your cue to interact. Apartment. Well, let's not go to the apartment. Let's go to the bagel shop. There's no bagel shop option. Apartment. Boom. Step one. Completed. 100%. So, man, I wish we would have read this book, because then we would have known more. So we could explore some locations. 
Come on, give me the next sentence. I'm rotating my mouse. When in explore mode, you can click and drag the mouse and look around. Okay. Rotate the mouse? Come on, man. I'm rotating my goddamn mouse. Okay. Can't be this hard, right? Come on, go. Rotate the mouse. Man, I am rotating the hell out of my mouse. Uh. Uh. Come on, man. Go forward, please. So I'll just right click, see what happens then. Okay. I wish we could go back. Can we go back? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> well, alright, let's try it again. Ready? Let's continue. Fine, let's go here. What's that creepy eye guy? Yeah, let's play that, sure. So, did I miss that whole first part because I pressed the button wrong? God, doggies. What does rotate your mouse mean? Please explain. I was doing this number, and I was doing this number. I was just do pick it up and rotate it this way. Return from the city. Pretty well disgusted with life. Bummer to be you. Oh, do I have to rotate the mouse? Mouse wheel? Nothing. Holy crap. <laughs> so I right clicked again, and I'm back here now. Oh man. Oh my god. Continue story, alright, let's continue the story. Is there any other way to rotate the mouse? There it goes. Ooh! Ooh, ooh! I can use the arrow keys. Alright, let's start over. I want to see that whole intro, because I missed it. Can I get out of here somehow? Ooh, this is pretty sick. Alright. Reset. Yes. Okay. Let's do it again. I am Jagger. Alright. So. Let's start all over. Here is the 39 steps. Let's party on. We're not going to rotate the mouse this time. We're going to press right. Rotate your mouse clockwise to advance the text or press the right thing, right? Yes. Boom. Anti-clockwise makes you go back. So we don't want to do that. We're just going to press the arrow. Nice. We need to reach the strings. Left click anywhere. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How do I go back? God damn it. Alright, well, don't press the uh, space bar. God, that's so dense. Alright, there we go. Boom. Boom. And then move the story forward with that button. Killed it. Killed <laughs> it. Alright, 39 steps, pointer free. Can you see one? Interact. Let's do it, apartment style. So far, so good. Some locations can be explored. Boom. Explore. Drag the mouse. Interact with glowing objects. Here's one. Boom. Drag it around. Check it out. Yo, what's up, boys? I hope you enjoy your journey. Everything's cool. Check it out. You can hear Rodisha at Mining Chairs. Please make an appointment and call me later. What's up, Mr. Edwards? Uh, yeah, dude. Get out of there. Back. Okay. Then we can go to this weird clone on the wall. No. Guy's face, dog, no. Mug, coffee, no. Hey, yeah, 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 we saw that. Click an image, drag around. Okay, yeah, we know about it. Can I get away now? Okay. I'm over it. I'm over it! God damn it. If I press ex escape, okay. Then we lose everything again, of course. Alright, I'll press return. Alright, now what? Anything else? Over here? No. Over here? No. 
Anything else blowing? Drawers, 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 no. Chair, chair, chair. Waste basket, no. Coffee, click, 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 click. Okay, well, I guess we're done, right? That's great. Um, should I write that number down just in case we're going to need that in the future? 6733. We probably won't need it, will we? I'll write right down, anyways. Okay, 6733. Manager at Benning's Bank. Totally. Yeah, unrelated to the story at all. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Hurry up, man. The show on the road. Done with the apartment. Nice, dude. We graduated from slacking. Uh, you made it through our short tutorial. No kidding. It took forever, too. Like four tries. Or three. Lord. Man, sweet. All right, here we go. Progress will be auto-saved. Yeah, of course. Right-click or hit the space bar to return to the main menu screen. Yeah, I know. I found that out the hard way. All right, here we go. The wrong ditch. Let's do it. Can I press return? Can I press space? Nice. Space gets us there. All right, the wrong ditch. Diage! The wrong ditch. They, they called them Diaches back in uh, 1914. Watch out there for yonder Diage. Whoa, look at that. I rotated my mouse and went back. I returned from the city that May afternoon, pretty well disgusted with life, ready to hate it. I'd been there three months in the old country, fed up with it. God, a whiner. Uh, return to the city, just got through life. I know, I know, no. Yeah, fed up with it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. It's kind of cool. That's pretty sweet. What was Canada read about? Richard that? Honey, you have got into the wrong ditch, my friend, and you had better climb out. Present. Oh. Okay. A lot of readings evolve, so please meet scholars at the reading place and then read stuff from Vancouver and read it all. Uh, no real deal about reading, possibly reading, and inviting people to their house to read. They didn't see much interest in reading. He counted on reading in London for reading for the rest of his day, and then he made people read. And then he was the best read man in England. Child. More reading has evolved. His dad made him read in South Africa at the age of six, and then he grew up and had to read in Cape Colony, and then he read under British rule. As a teenager, he read a bunch in the Zambezi. He would fish there and read, and he'd make people read about sharks, and then all of a sudden stuff would happen, and he read by the landscape. Uh, working man. He um, earned a pile of dough reading, something about reading, and then some German reading stuff, and then pretty much he knew everything about beer. Sweet. As a soldier, apparently he was a soldier, he served in the British forces, he read a lot, and then he did some light horse work and read some more, and he lost friends that didn't know how to read. The Carer? Car? Yeah, The Carer, of course. He finally years in Africa, where he decided to read a bunch, and then he read some more, and he read with his father, he took ill, and then he died, and he read about it, and then he headed back to the old country to read some more. Nice. So now we know all of his life. Guy seems pretty uh, astute and like, did some stuff. 37? Did all that stuff? It's only 37? God. Far more ambitious than I am. Enough money on him. Yeah, okay. Next. Ooh, collected. Uh, had a long drink. Oh, every time it says drink, we're going to have a drink of beer. Just to, for the story's sake. I had a long drink and read the evening papers. Okay, we gotta read the paper too. We'll do that later. Uh, yeah, something about that and that. And all accounts seem to be one big man show. Yeah, right. Played a straight game too. Could be most of them, and you read a lot. There's a lot of 
people noise for such black people in there. Can you hear this? Well, can you hear me? It's a nice fire. Cylinder player, deep nostalgia. Oh, that's cool. Some a DJ stepped up. Loaded cylinder player. Oh, that's pretty, pretty badass. Let's turn that up. I like I like the remix of that song a little bit better. The B side's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that kind of DJ. It's killing it. Oh, I'm supposed to look around. Um, let's take a look at this here clock. Oh yeah, look at Canada up there. Uh, the British map of the world. Oh, pff. well. Really part of the book. What am I looking at? Dominion of Canada. Okay, fine. Seriously? British Isles. Okay, I'm done, right? I don't need to see this stuff now, do I? I interest me as it is. What about these books? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I don't have to read this, do I? Okay, something about South Africa, a new, most important, intensely interesting chapter of British history, blah blah blah. I'm not reading that. Oh, for crying out loud. <coughs> well, I should probably read that someday. This book? Same book. Okay, good. Woof! There's multiple books. Alright, let's back out of the fireplace. As fascinating as it is. What's up with these newspapers? Oh, definitely want to zoom in on these. Let's give us some well needed stuff. Uh, we have dinner in London, that sounds pretty delicious. Yeah, I see what you're doing here. Oh, tea, right. All right. Well, that's uh, pretty cool. Um, you can read stuff. Let's read a bunch of stuff for a while here. This guy is pretty dapper. Right? Alright, what do we got over here? It's a bag thingy. Can I open it up? Uh, uh, no. Uh, 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 no. What's this? Some sort of paper? Oh, the British informer. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Nice monocle. He sees, he reasons, he buys. It's a Ford. It's a better car. It costs less. Whoa, what's up with ginger nuts? They sound delicious. Hit me up with some ginger nuts. There are no friends like the old friends at Haley and Farmer Ginger Nut Company. Who's this guy? Oh. Super beard man, mustache guy. Oh, that stork's totally stealing that baby. Oh, maybe stork rides. Classic stork rides. They used to like give you stork rides at the old fairs. It was like two pants or something like that. Just a stork ride. Um, can we open you? Can we open you? Open up, open up, little buddy. Open up. Can we press? Oh, oh, open. No, nothing. Okay. Whoa! Hey! Ooh, ooh! I saw something over there. Yeah, what's up with that? Now we're talking. Presented to Richard Haney, intelligent officer. Boom. Because that's me, right? All right, well, stack that shit in your pocket, man. That's a pretty sweet piece of item right there. Oh, what else do we got? What else do we got? Play chess? No. Let's drink some, drink some booze? No. Can we go this way? Can we go this way? I guess we're done, right? Uh, uh, uh. Plan, plan. Out the window. We're done here. So that was the club. That DJ was spinning that wicked music, just bleeding. And it's six o'clock, you go home. Six o'clock? Six o'clock AM? Apparently, he went to an after party, it was pretty sick. Oh, I gotta press that button, sorry. 
Uh oh. I hope I don't have to take them home because I don't even want to use Cavendish Street. Okay. At some point, this becomes a first person shooter, right? My flat was the first floor on the new block behind Lavin Place. My name is Luca. Really? I gotta press enter? Oh, that was pretty sweet. Yeah. Ah, here it is. This is the classic scene right here. This is a result of this play, so... No restaurant or anything of that sort. I wasn't expecting one, man. It's a fucking hotel. Uh, apartment building. Each flat was shut off from the others. Okay, cool. I don't hear those people banging or anything. <laughs> okay, examine. Yeah, man. We're gonna get our mail, right? Who are we? We're Haney. Boom! Dear Richard, how is London? I do hope Paddock is leaking to see you well, and then you luck in the hearse at 10 to cool clock. No deal is a fellow you. Last month, something, something, something. I found out that something was something. Okay, they lost their way, did something, a postcard, three days later, something, something, something. Misplaced warmness, excellent spicy protein, seared me away, blah, blah, blah. Then I ran into the old city with my own money. Okay, and something happened, they refused to help them. Blam, blam, blam. Scoobly, blap, scoobly, blue. Joe, that was for you. And the end of it, oh, it was Peter, so I was sure, I guess I didn't talk that. I just assumed it was some, it was like ex-wife. Um, elephants, elephants. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, Peter. Peter Pinar. Oh, of course. That's just, okay. All right, cool. Is that it? Hmm. Can we look at other people's mail? Mr. Burns? No? Anybody else's mail? No. All right, let's go. Can we look at that thing? It's glowing. Oh, dude. Alright, let's ascend. Ah, oh, I feel so ascended. Draw symbols as they appear. Really? So I gotta go, like, with my mouse? Like, push and go up? <gasps> okay. Uh huh. Then push and go around? Okay. Wow, this is really ridiculous. But fun. <laughs> that was cool. Hope we gotta do that more. Paddock, that's me home. I'll be heading out for dinner. Speed run. Can't really play this fast, can you? I hate servants on the premise. So I had a fellow look after me who came in by the day. He arrived before eight o'clock every morning and used to depart at seven. I never dined at home. Yeah, who would, man? Had, like McDonald's across the street. I guess it was called Ye Old McDonald's back then. <laughs> Great. And it's sleep simulator. <laughs> Alright. I see you get the move on. It's pretty sick. That evening, Cafe Royale. Oh, of course. Entertainment, huh? He's going back to the club. That guy's going to spend those wicked tins. But throw down. No, oh, he went to Leicester Square? Oh. The all ham bra. I like ham. I'll let you read this for a second while I run into the kitchen and grab a little beverage. Uh, music halls in London, passing the evening, blah blah blah. Alright, now the back, particularly the evening, walking a little bit of there. Okay, so some sort of awesome play or something. Let's check this out. It's probably like Circuit, Circuit Dole or whatever. 
It was a silly show. I did not stay long. Aha! Exactly like Cirque de Ole. <laughs> did I not just call that? Man. Oh, silly show. I did not stay long. No offense to people who like that. I'm sure it's awesome. Half a crown to a beggar. Oh, he saw a yawn and me on. That's hilarious. That's a beautiful picture. Good. I'm glad he's sticking around, man. We don't want to kick out yet, man. This place seems pretty sweet. Ooh, that is cool. Uh, if nothing happens by tomorrow, he's going to take off. Okay. I think we finished the first level. The boss wasn't that tough. It was just a beggar. Uh, we handled him pretty nicely. We gave him a couple crown or half a crown. And that uh, pretty much vanquished the foe. So let's see what happens in level two. I'm a little worried. We need to upgrade our weapons. We need to uh, definitely, you know, mine from our third base and stuff like that. All right, so let's do it. Continue story, please. An unlikely visitor. It's going to be the Kool-Aid guy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, on Monday, the 18th. Just a little while later. speak to you. May I come in for a minute? Uh, yes, come in, please. Quit just standing there, man. Slim, short brown beard, small. Gimli? Gimletly? Blue eyes? Whoa, dude. This guy's a weirdo. Alright. No, no one needs to get an IT. The lamb killed him. Destroyed. Oh. Whoa. He's going back to the smoking room, and then he's coming back. Is the door locked? It's all been there. to in the background over here. Not funny. He filled himself a stiff whiskey and soda. Drink. Um, I sat down in an armchair and lit my pipe. I'm not doing that. I was pretty certain that I had to deal with a madman. I'm not dealing with any madman. I hope. Are you? I'm very sorry. It's a mighty liberty, but you look like the kind of man who would understand. No, I don't understand you. Know, I've had dude. you in my mind all this week when things got troublesome. Uh, dude, you're on your own on this one. Say, will you do me a good turn? I'll uh, listen to you. Is. That's all, I promise. Pardon. Yeah. I'm a bit rattled tonight. I know. You see, I happen at this moment to be dead. Rough. What does it feel like? Huh. A smile flickered over his drawn face. I'm not mad. Yet. Say, sir, I've been watching you, and I reckon you're a cool customer. I reckon, too, you're an honest man and not afraid of playing a bold hand. That's... I'm going to confide in you. Uh-oh. I comes. need help worse than any man ever needed it. Yeah, you're dead. I want to know if I can count you in. I don't know, bro. Do I get an option here? Look, I'm just made of smoke myself, apparently. Get on with your yarn, and I'll tell you. Yarn, tail, yarn, tail, 
tail yarn. Okay. I'll let you guys read this for yourself. and turn into an old episode of Tintown. Yeah, this is in that paper from earlier. I remember this part. Then what happened? Uh-oh. Yeah? So then he drove back. France, Germany, to Italy. And he stand by some trees. And he drove around the trees in one of those Fords that was on sale. Uh, he parks in the forest. And he gets out and he gets mauled by a bear. Wait, wait, the bear's not there yet. He sneaks up on the tree. No, past the tree. Into the tree! He sneaks into the tree and looks at the house. And then just walks over to it like a normal dude. And then just checks out the window because he's a peeping Tom or something. Then there's some more reading involved, and there's two dudes inside, like they're from Indiana Jones, and they're looking for the medallion, and the whole place is gonna catch a fire pretty soon. And he's pissed, but he's drinking beer, and he's got a cigar. And they wanted to know who wanted to pay for their cigars and beers. So the other guy's like, this deer on the wall paid for him. So he had a stack of money and some CDs. And then they did something about loggerhead turtles. And they had a fight. Germany and Russia, right in the middle. So, Moscow would be kind of, you know, here or there, a few miles away. And then they're still talking about shit. And some guy was like a Jewish man, he said they were behind it, and so they were totally being like anti-Semites. The movie was over. But it was a learning lesson for all of them. On the 15th day of June, Constantine Karolides so that clears it up. is coming to the city. <laughs> the British Foreign Office has taken to having international tea parties. Oh yeah, totally. And the biggest of them is due on that date. Now... Carolides has reckoned the principal guest. And if my friends have their way, he will never return to his admiring countrymen. Oh, bum. Well, that was a, a big Well, that's simple enough, anyhow. You can warn him and keep him at home. <laughs> and play their game. If he does not come, they win. For he's the only man that can straighten out the tangle. Yeah. And if his government are warned, he won't come. For he does not know how big the stakes will be on June the 15th. It's a couple days after my birthday, by the way. It'll be 40 on June 13th. What about the British government? I guess this is the They're not going to let their guests be murdered. Tip them the wink, and they'll take extra precautions. No Tip good. them the wink! They might stuff your city with plainclothes detectives and double the police. And Constantine would still be a doomed man. He'll be murdered by an Austrian. And there'll be plenty of evidence to show the connivance of the big folk in Vienna and Berlin. Okay. It will all be an infernal lie, of course, but the case will look black enough to the world. I agree, man. I like the fire crackling off the but side. But it's not going to come off if there's a certain man alive, right here in London on the 15th day of June. And that man is going to be your servant, Franklin <sighs> T. Scudder. Scudder! For some reason, I like that dude. His jaw had shut like a rat trap. And there was a fire of battle in his gimpy eyes. Which is the second time they've used that word before that I've never heard of. I assume it means Where like. Where did you find out colored. this story? I right? completed my evidence Gimply? 10 days ago in Who Paris. Colored? I can't tell you the details now, for it's something of a history. But when I was quite sure in my own mind, I judged it my business to disappear. And I reached this city by a mighty queer circuit. So this is about what I expected. So yesterday I thought I had muddied my trail some, and was feeling pretty happy. Then, down some more whiskey. Damn it, I just drank. It's basically a drinking game. Standing in the street outside this block, 
I used to stay close in my room all day. Every and time you have to actually do after something. Dark for an hour or two. I watched him for a bit from my window. And I thought I recognized him. He came in and spoke to the porter. Yeah? When I came back from my walk last night, I found a card in my letterbox. It bore the name of the man I want least to meet on God's earth. Uh, we're thinking about the look in his eyes and this scare on his face, and we're wishing we had music. Where's that DJ? What did you do next? I realized I was bottled as sure as a pickled herring. <laughs> ha! Pickled herring! Yeah, there was only one way out. <laughs> I had to die. Okay, so then what? Boom. Well, that's if my pursuers easy. knew I was dead, they would go to sleep again. How did you manage it? I mean, how does anyone manage it? They jump off the Aurora Bridge, right? Let's go with step five first. Just kidding. Step one, uh, convince fucking Porter, illness, makeup, clay, too much blah, but he told the dudes that he was feeling bad and he looked like death and it was no big deal. He disguised himself as an idiot. Uh, step two, he, um, find a dead corpse, then, um, he moved him up the stairs in a, in a thing. Nice job. Where'd he find a corpse? Wait a second here. You can always get a body in London if you know where to go for it. Well, hmm, interesting. All right, step three. Put the body and piled up evidence, so sleeping draft, clear out, see a doctor. I couldn't abide leeches. Um, he feigned death. Right, right, right. Step four. Um, problem, limited, gun, neighbors. Um, Fake core of my size, just pair with too much alcohol, put some spirits about the place. Um, John was the weak point, I blew it away with a revolver. Okay. So, really? So, you just shot the guy? The dead, the dead body? I left the body in bed, dressed up with my pajamas. Oh, then I'm sure they're gonna think it's you. Then I got into a suit of clothes I'd kept waiting for emergencies. Okay. Interesting. Well, I guess. I don't know how often that's gonna work, but sure. Back in 1914 or whatever the hell. Yeah, that's totally you. Okay. I had had you in my mind all day. And there seemed nothing to do but to make an appeal to you. I watched from my window till I saw you come home, and then slipped down the stair to meet you. Yeah. He sat blinking like an owl. Yes, yeah, sir. I guess you know about as much as me of this business. Yeah. All right, I gotta do this again. This is sweet. Ready for this? Oom! Blam! Oh, wait. Oom! Blam! Skliggity boop! Flippity jap! Kaglingo! Kaglango! Oh, wait. Kaglango! Oh, he killed it. It was pretty sweet. I could have macroed a little harder, but messed up on that one. All right, now I was pretty well convinced that he was going straight with me. The guy's not lying. He's totally weirdo. Eh, it's a wild sort of narrative, but I'd heard that stuff before, you know. And if you wanted to get my location, then you'd cut my throat and you'd pitch miles beyond. Hand me your key, and I'll take a look at the corpse. Oh. Excuse my caution, but I'm bound to verify a bit if I can. I reckon you'd ask for that. But I haven't got it. What? You don't have your it's on flat my chain key? Dressing table. You just left your key at home. I had to leave it behind for I couldn't leave any clues to breed suspicions. Oh, that makes sense. But you have another key. The gentlemen who are after me are pretty bright eyed citizens. Now they're idiots, man. I don't know. You'll have to take me on trust for the night, and tomorrow you'll get proof of the corpse business right enough. It's true. So I thought about it for an instant or two. Maybe three. Right. right. I'll trust you for the night. I'll lock you into this room and keep the key. Just one word, Mr. Scudder. I believe you're straight. Could be gay. But if so be you are not. True. I should warn you that I'm a handy man with a gun. I haven't the privilege of your name, sir. But let me tell you that you're a true gentleman. Now you guys get a room. Now I'll thank you to lend me a razor. Whoa.
I took him into my bedroom and turned him loose. Jack Cassidy. <laughs> Half an hour's time, I figured I came out scarcely recognized. He was bald. No more weird-ass mustache. My hat, Mr. Scudder. My hat! Looks like a weird thing. Similarities. Well, his eyes were the same. Differences. Uh, very model, brown complexion, British officer, long spell in India. He was shaved clean, parted in the middle, and he had cut his eyebrows. Well, cut your eyebrows. No one will know who you are anymore. I'll tell you what. Completely different person. What, Mr. Scudder? Captain Theopolis Digby of the 40th Gurkhas. Presently home on leave. Fox I'll thank you to remember that, sir. How dare you? Really? You give me shit? I made my bed in the smoking room. Sat my own couch. Past month. Then things happened. God forgotten Monopoly. Metropolis. Metropolis. Metalopolis. Killed level two, man. Thought we weren't gonna make it there for a minute. Level one, it's pretty easy to be honest with you, looking back on it, compared to level two. Uh, but that was pretty awesome. And then of course the boss in that level was uh reverse the guy we were our friend the whole time, all of a sudden he's a total new dude. He's the boss. So, ugh, dude. I might have to watch the replay. See how we did on that. Should we try level three? I think we should go on. Deeper into this mess. I don't know how much farther we can go. I mean... But it's Tuesday, so don't worry about it. Tuesday is usually pretty chill. Nothing happens on Tuesdays. What you got, clock? What the fuck are you watching right here? Some turtle show? Look at that, it's milk, man. A little fresh cow's milk. Because cows milk is delicious. It's pretty cool. The clock thing. The light. I kind of feel lonely because there's no people. I mean, there's only like those little ghostly images. For some Stop reason I like row, Paddock. people. There's a friend of mine, Captain. Captain. You hear people? Oh, he's dosing down in there. What does dosing down mean? To, and then come and speak to me. Dude, if you're gonna dos down, please dos down in the shower. Um, character. There's the hippopotamus reference. Acquaintance. Paddock. See, it's more tinted references. Captain Haddock. Man, this game makes me yawn. So boring. I mean, not boring. But the sleeping references and oh. the fact that it's getting up there. And there's no people. Like, I hear people behind me. Just come talk to me. I told Paddock a story. Something, something, something. Rest and stillness. More rest and stillness. Nobody got to know. Even the Prime Minister. That was a dick. Um... Mulder plays splendidly when he came to breakfast. Um, eyeglass, British officer, the brood war. Uh, I couldn't learn something, something, something. Life depended upon it. We left him a newspaper, box of cigars, raccoons. Raccoons! <laughs> <laughs> when I got back, um, the lift man had an important face. It was an important face. He's like, Nasty business here this morning, sir. Oh, no. Jet in number 15. Don't tell me. shot yourself. I just took him to the mortuary. The police are up there now.
Oh yeah, elevator guy. Actually, I know about that. It's uh, it wasn't even him. It was like some other dead body. So that guy's totally cool. Don't worry about it. That was just some random dead body. You know how you get dead bodies all over the place in London, right? All right, so I went to 15th and found a couple bobby pins, um, made an examination, asked some idiotic questions, and then they kicked my ass. So I went over here to this place. Oh, it's the inquest. No one expects Spanish inquest decision. Next, please. Uh, the jury found a case of suicide, and what we knew really happened... Dude's still fucking chilling in our apartment. I gave him, told him what was up. Oh, he said it looked cool. Chill. Talk to you later, bro. Um, I looked out the window and saw a couch. Uh, he was cool for the first couple days, and then um, he smoked a bunch and like fucking did a bunch of stuff, played some chess. Uh, on the third day, he was getting pissed. Guy was a weirdo though. Chess games were lame. He started fucking just queen rushing us. Um, he fixed up a list of days and started making remarks against them, like, you're stinky. You use the bathroom too much. Then he started listening for noises and was asking if people could be trusted. And then he got peevish and then fucking said whatever. And I was like, whatever, dude. So then it rained. Fifth day for 40 days. And then one night, he was like super pissed. I don't know what his problem was. Fuck off, man. I'm letting him stay at my house for free. He's the one that fucking turned to commit his own suicide. Say, so, Ernie. What is it? I judge I should let you a bit deeper into this business. Oh, great. There's I more to this? Well without leaving somebody else to put up a fight. Oh, dude. You're killing me. You're killing me, killing me! Alright, you told me about all this stuff that happened. Something about a chick and his daughter and like, his ex-wife. Um, I didn't really care, so I was like talking about other stuff and thinking about dinner. The plot thickens. Dun 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 dun. All right, let's see what happens. Um, we can go over here and talk about the Carol gliders. Sure glider. Sure gliders are a type of pet that looks kind of like a squirrel, and you keep them in your pocket, and then that's what you like. And then you're this weird ass kind of pet guy that has sure gliders in your pocket. Blackstone. Blackstone is a store where you go and buy these weird sure gliders, and you keep them in your pockets. Okay. Julia Chesney. She is the woman who like does something to do with um, you know, reading sugar letters. Okay, that's important information to know. Plot does thicken. Where can we find these sugar letter hippies? He remains solemn for the rest of the day. Maybe one of them died. Apparently, one of his poor squirrels died. I reckon it's like going to sleep when you're pretty well tired out. That's pretty sweet. Awaking a fine summer day with a scent of hay coming in at the window. I know, I wouldn't dig that so much. I, don't live I used to thank zone. God for such mornings way back in the bluegrass country. Amen, Jesus. And I guess I'll thank him when I wake up on the other side of Jordan. Nice. Jordan's his boyfriend, I assume. Boom! <laughs> Alright, this part's pretty good. I like this part here where you look at the front of the building for a while. Damn, that's sweet. Now, the next day was more cheerful. He was all whatever, dude. All's good, whatever. I'm cool now. Went out to dinner. Went to the man out with a chick. Ended up banging her. Oh, yeah, I gotta press enter. I don't wanna not press enter. Oh, what am I gonna do here? Killed it. Press that open bar like a boss. Ooh! Uh, swap! Shkligny boo! Full blango! God, that's sick. Alright, now I'm in here. What am I gonna do? Well, I could just look at this thing. It says, yo, Mr. Haney, I uh, left uh, Captain Duggerty with some shit, and then we went down to get some donuts, and then we'll be there. We'll see you later, man. Paddock. Um. Yeah, I already looked at that, right? Yeah, I know. Here, this thing, this thing, no clock, no light, no rug, no open. open. Really? I'm gonna go back outside. Um, oh, is that Jordan? Ha! <laughs> Switch that light on, man. 
Okay. <gasps> oh. Well, oh, hello, nurse. Scudder. Scudder, huh? What's that do, eh? Man. All right. Well, we killed it. <laughs> Level three completed. The boss that time was our dead friend. Not so boss. Huh. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. In the soup. We're kind of flying through this, man. We've already hit uh, level four. Looks like there's only 12 levels, something like that. Maybe 15. We're going to speedrun this thing tonight. And they're probably chapters, not levels. I mean, it's a book, right? Graphic novel. That's pretty graphic. Nice hair. The poor staring white face is more than I can bear. Rawr! Nation, what is on my side? I staggered to the cupboard, found the brandy, and swallowed several mouthfuls. Great, thank you. Then, um, it's hard to read. Uh, I've seen men die violently before. Might have to have killed a few hundred myself. But this is bullshit, man. Dude was just chilling there. He was cool. He did just totally fake his own death, right? So, he's not the coolest dude ever? I mean, he's not. Yeah, right. Here's the body. Uh, turns out that he's, like, had a bunch of cash in his pockets and he had some tattoos on his butt. No chance. Um, he went outside and called the police, or he said if he did, then they'd find the thing, and they'd be like, what are you gonna do, dude? You had the guy right here, and he's like, yeah, you'd be charged with it, so you're fucked, dude. The dead body's in your thing. Pointless endeavor. So, people knew, didn't know you, uh, something to do with PayPal, so you wanted to get out of there, and then you're like, dude, this fucking sucks, and there's a knife in his chest, and then uh, the whole story, you, you probably get to trouble. You're an ordinary sort of fellow, right? You're not braver than other dorks, so whatever. Take a knife. Yeah, you're gonna get blamed for this. Uh, do people know that it's your room? I guess it's me. Do people know this is my room? Why did the guy get burned in here? Should we go tell the cops? I mean, he did just fake his own death and we've been hiding him for two days. It's kinda on you. Why would you do that? Searching for something. The pocketbook. Oh, the pocketbook. Yeah, yeah, sure. But it was empty, right? Alright, so we gotta look at shit here. Um, great. Uh, chapter 6, blah, 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 something, something, something. Strong men wept for him, lost their stuff. I lost, lost my alarm and lost my life. Okay. So that's about the guy from that movie. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh, oh, yeah! Grab that shit. Can we get that? No, 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 go back. Yeah, can we grab that? Smoke cigars. Um, okay, what about, uh... Take it. Can we just take it? Okay, there's a bunch of money. He did have money in his pocket. I called that. The tattoo on his butt is probably on his butt side. Collected the knife. We don't collect that, apparently. Um, is there anything else I can click? God damn it. Um, okay, well I guess we're done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well that's all there is. Let's click on shit all over the place. That's something. Let's click on this over here. No. Click on this, click on this. Oh yeah, what's this about? It's a picture of some queen ass Victoria. That's some dude. Oh, he's got that fucking hair, man. Some little asshole kid. That kid's a dick. God, I hate that guy. And that dog. That dog. That dog. Yo, dog, what's up? Alright, what else we got? Let's check out these. Well, it's hard to read with all the ink spatter, but it says something about Samuel L. Jackson. He was in a movie, and he said, like, yo, motherfucker. And it was like, uh, what's up? It's noisy, and like, uh, snakes on a plane. 
And then something about this other thing, and then what else next page? Uh, paddocks, insolence, should it be something or other, and then something happened. That was my speed. Killed. All right, no stone unturned. So I guess we checked out everything. Ooh, it's kind of sweet. A little overview of the apartment there. Yeah. Come to decision. I must vanish somehow and keep vanished till the second weekend of June. Fifteenth was something happening, right? All right, well, go ahead and do it. Why are you all about me about that, man? All right, well, I see what's going on here. So, for what I don't understand is, what's this room here? I mean, this is the bathroom. What's that other second bathroom? Kinda cool you got a fireplace in your bedroom though. I guess. If you want to smell like smoke all the time. Okay, what's next? Oh I gotta check it out. Um we were in the, we were here. Now let's go to the here, I guess, is the next room. Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> Taking her pause at me. Alright, I guess over here. Yeah, I wish you'd told me more and I'd listen more carefully, but I was totally making jokes and not listening at all. Um, it's a big risk. Yeah, I guess right, he was totally a dick. Um, I must take chances, something will happen. City. Yeah. So she's going to Scotland. You fucking kidding me? Am I supposed to read all this shit, Bushi? Alright, 7.10 on Sunday. No problem, I got you. 7.10 on Sunday, we'll be there. How was I to make to the St. Pancreas train? Uh, I was pretty certain that his friends were watching for me outside. This puzzled me and then I said, what the fuck dude, I'll just jump out the roof. So, Went out the roof like Batman style. Waited until it was daytime. Waking up, he had a uh, refusing that he felt like a god forgotten fool. A god forgotten fool. My inclination to let things slide. The rest of the police are taking a reasonable view. Yeah, do that. He did kind of fuck up, so he's like, nah, fuck it, I gotta get out of here. Plus, it would make for a better story. If he just went to the cops, then what? He hunted out a Will Tweed suit. So he hunted out some wild tweeds and, like, took their fur and firmed them into a thing. Uh, into his pockets, he put a spare shirt. You put shirts in your pockets? And then what? This guy's weird. 50 pounds of souvenirs? He took 50 pounds of souvenirs in his belt. Apparently that's what he did, dude. He brought him back from um, a rhododendron plant. Souvenirs. Rhododendrons.
You took a shower. And then, uh, what's this? Really? I'm supposed to look at the thing? Ooh! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh god. Roop! 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 Skiddly dang boop! Alright, next step. Shaving. Shaving round two. He's oh, so we're gonna try to be that guy or some other guy? Okay. Uh, 20 minutes 7, bitter experience, milkman. You need to stalk him. Huh. This is some sort of game. So dead guy's still in there. Um, he went in the dark and smoking room. Oh. Breakfast off a whiskey and soda. That's great. I don't think I've ever breakfast off a whiskey and soda. Maybe tomorrow. Except for I don't have any whiskey or soda. But I've got some Bud Light. Bud Light and water. Is that the same thing? Is it whiskey and soda? By this time, it was getting on 6 o'clock. He put a pipe in his pocket and filled his pouch and tobacco on the table by the fireplace and then did some other stuff, and then he chilled. He probably took a dump. He hasn't peed all the time. Though. Is that the tobacco canister? Okay. Look at that. Is that the black book? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Oh, my God. It's the black book. It seemed a good omen. Good omen. I love that, man. Look at Mulder, Scully. Uh, 